हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर सेपरेशन ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑलरेडी वी कंप्लीटेड अबाउट सेपरेशन ऑफ सॉलिड सब्सटेंसेस फ्रॉम सॉलिड इन दिस वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट सेपरेशन ऑफ सॉलिड्स फ्रॉम लिक्विड्स नाउ देर आर टू काइंड ऑफ सॉलिड्स फर्स्ट दैट इज इनसॉलिबल इन लिक्विड लाइक सैंड सैंड इज इनसॉलिबल इन वाटर and the second one that is soluble completely soluble in liquid like salt salt and water salt is completely dissolved in water so let's start separation of insoluble solids from liquids in this case first we discuss the process sedimentation and decantation what is sedimentation sedimentation is a process in which heavier insoluble particles settle down at the bottom and the solid particles settle at the bottom are called sediments if you take example of sand and water as you see in this picture we are adding sand in the water then in the second picture this is a mixture of sand and water now uh, we keep it for some time undisturbed then what happened the sand that the heavier particles it will be settle down at the bottom see in this picture so this particular uh, settle down part is known as sediment the particles that settle at the bottom are called sediment and this process is known as sedimentation now after sedimentation the process is decantation decantation is a process of pouring out the clean water slowly into another container without disturbing the sediment this process is used after sedimentation so again in the same example mixture of sand and water we want to remove the clean water okay so how it will be done uh, just pour out the liquid already the sand particles settle down in the bottom and this is the clean water so slowly we can pouring out this clean water into another container without disturbing the sediment so this process is known as decantation and this entire process is known as sedimentation and decantation and we use this uh, process of separation of insoluble solids to remove insoluble solids from liquids okay now the next process is filtration what is filtration in filtration we use a filter to remove insoluble solid substances from liquid for example we use a strainer for filtering tea in this process the insoluble solid particles are retained in the filter and liquid passes through it the liquid obtained after filtration is called filtrate in laboratories we use filter paper for filtration have you ever had sugar cane juice the juice seller uses a piece of cloth to remove some husk or other bigger particles which may be left in the juice so this process is also similar to filtration the next method is loading if the particles of an insoluble solid in a liquid are very fine uh, then we use this method they take a long time to settle so loading is a process of making these very fine particles heavier so that they can settle fast it actually makes the sedimentation process faster so next video we discuss about the separation of soluble solids from liquid the process of evaporation condensation and immiscible miscible liquid and solubility of substances i hope you understand all the process that we discuss in this video